Chancellor, sir, the Federal University of Technology, MENA, on the recommendation of Senate and with approval of Council, has found Malem Mele Kolo Kiari, the Group Managing Director, Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation, NMPC Limited, worthy to be conferred with the honorary degree of Doctor of Engineering, Honoris Causa of the Federal University of Technology, MENA. I therefore call on the University of Reto to present the honorary graduate. University of Reto, please. Chancellor, sir, the Federal University of Technology, MENA, on the recommendation of Senate and with the approval of Council, has found Dr. Akin Wumi A. Adisena, CON, President, African Development Bank, worthy to be conferred with the honorary degree of Doctor of Technology, Honoris Causa of the Federal University of Technology, MENA. I therefore call on the University Orator to present the honorary graduate. University Orator, please. With all due respect, I'd like to request Dr. Akimumi Additional to be on his feet. The Chancellor, sir. In the words of the Irish poet, W.B. Yeats, education is not the feeling of a pill, but the lighting of fire. This fire was lit and sustained in Dr. Akemumi Additional. Commander of the Order of Niger, a passionate defender of African farmers, a man of great learning and skill, whose profound knowledge and experience have won for him global recognition. By his immense and great learning, he has distinguished himself as an international luminary who is currently serving his second term as the eighth president of the African Development Bank, the first Nigerian to hold the coveted position. Born to a Nigerian farmer on February 6, 1960 in Ibadan, or your state, Aki, as is usually called, additional humble beginning, beginning in a village, primary school attained a star-like quality when in 1981, he became the first student in the history of University of Ileife, now Obafemi Aolo University, to graduate with first-class honors in agricultural economics. <laughs> this lit a fire in him that led to a master's degree, 1985, and a PhD, 1988, in agricultural economics from Purdue University, Indiana, USA, where he won the Outstanding PhD Thesis Award for that year. <laughs> Dr. Akumumi Adeshina started his career as an assistant principal economist of the International Crops Research Institute for the semi-arid tropics from 1988 to 1980. He soon after became the principal economist for the West African Rice Development Association, 1990 to 1995, and later became the senior economist and social science coordinator for the International Institute for Tropical Agriculture, 1995 to 1998. He was also an associate director and a regional director for the Southern Africa Office of the Rockefeller Foundation for over a decade. 
the meteoric rise of this son of a humble farmer to become a renowned national and international development economist and agricultural development expert spent a period of more than 30 years. He was Vice President, Policy and Partnership for the Alliance for a Green Revolution in Africa from 2008 to 2010, and the Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development from 2010 to 2015. He is a bold reformer who turned the agricultural sector of Nigeria around within four years. He ended 40 years of corruption in the fertilizer sector, developed and implemented a farmer-friendly wallet system that involved the use of mobile phones that transformed the lives of approximately 15 million farmers. He is a firm believer in private sector-led growth. His radical initiatives successfully attracted 5.6 billion US dollars in private sector investments to the agricultural sector in Nigeria and also boosted financing initiatives that benefited youth engagement in agriculture and small and medium enterprises, thus expanding Nigeria's food production by an additional 20, 21 million metric tons. Internationally, Dr. Akimumi Adeshino, as president of the African Development Bank, has worked with African heads of state and ministers of finance, leaders in the commercial banking industry, and, and central bank governors across several African countries. He success successfully led one of the largest global efforts to leverage domestic bank finance for the agricultural sector. He also led several bold and innov innovative policies and finance initiatives that leverage over four billion US dollars in bank finance commitments to Africa's agricultural sector. He serves globally as one of the commissioners for the Global Climate Commission, co-chaired by Bill Gates and former United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon to tackle global climate and so much more. From a humble, peasant beginning, he became a global trailblazer recipient of several awards and distinctions. It all started with the prestigious Rockefeller Foundation Social Science Fellowship in 1988, which launched him into his international career, followed by Yara Food Prize in 2007 in Oslo, Norway, for his leadership in pioneering innovative approaches to improve access to agricultural inputs for African farmers. He bagged the Distinguished Alumni Award from Purdue University, USA in 2008. Distinguished Alumni Award in 2009, Bulag Cast Communication Award in 2010 by the Council of Agricultural Science and Technology, United States of America, for his global leadership on agricultural science and technology, and the Grand Commander of Great IFE in 2013, both from the Obafemi Awolowo University, Nigeria. He crowned a stream of laurels with a World Food Prize in 2017 and in 2019. In, in, 2013, in 2019, with the Grand Officer of the National Order of Mary of Tunisia. <laughs> Dr. Adeshina was conferred with one of the Nigeria's highest national honors, Commander of the Order of the Niger, CON. 
In 2012, for his outstanding service to his country, he was also recognized for his outstanding leadership, passion, and dedication to accelerating African development and was awarded the national honors of Senegal, Cameroon, Madagascar, Togo, Liberia, Niger, and Tunisia, respectively. He is a 2013 Forbes African Person of the Year for his bold reforms in Nigeria's agricultural sector. Dr. Adeshina, who is also a prolific writer, has authored over 70 scholarly publications on policy, as, on policy and has been recognized by several universities with honorary doctorate degrees. Amongst them are Franklin and Marshall College, USA, 2011, Purdue University, USA, 2014, Adekunle Ajasin University, 2015, Obafemi Aulo University, Nigeria, 2015, Federal University of Technology, Akure, Nigeria, 2017, Michigan State University, USA, 2018, National Defense Academy, Nigeria, 2018, Afe Babaola University, Nigeria, 2018, and University of Alberta, Canada, 2019. In 2017, his alma mater, Purdue University, USA, decorated Dr. Adeshina, which is with its highest honor, the Order of the Griffin, a rare honor given only to 50 pers persons since 1893, including Neil Armstrong, the first man to walk on the moon. The Global Luminary was, in 2015, cited as one of the top 100 most influential Africans by New African Magazine. Dr. Akiwumi Adeshina is happily married with children. Indeed, the Chancellor, sir, it is noteworthy that a man with such extraordinary achievements has not escaped the attention of the Council and Senate of the Federal University of Technology, MENA that is committed to giving honor to whom honor is due, particularly with respect to endeavors that bear relevance to the institution's mandate. Both bodies in that regard have scrutinized with eagle eyes this Nigerian's field of service and contributions to the development of a secure and qualitative society and have agreed to recognize and honor Dr. Adeshina for his contributions to sustainable development in agriculture, economics, and rural transformation. It is therefore the unanimous decision of the Council and Senate of this great institution to confer on Dr. Akimumi Adeshina the degree of Doctor of Technology, Honoris Causa, Federal University of Technology, MENA. I therefore have the singular honor and privilege to invite you, sir, to effect the conferment.
<laughs> You've been watching the live broadcast of the 38th Founders Day and 30th Convocation Ceremony of the Federal University of Technology, MENA. What you're watching right now is the confirmment of honorary degree on Dr. Akiumi Adishina, who is among the recipients of the honoris causa being conferred today by the university. It's indeed an historic moment and one that uh, has drawn from far and near uh, eminent personalities in Nigeria. Uh, we have here the former head of state, General Abdul Salami Abubakar, who is also one of the recipients for the honorary degree. And we have uh, Governor of Niger State, Abubakar Sani Bello, is also here. We have the Sultan of Sokoto, His Eminence Sahad Abubakar is here. You can see Dr. Akiumi and uh, some family members, as well as uh, some uh, professors from the university, including the chancellor of the university. It's no doubt a moment of joy for him and uh, is elated, as you can see, and he's been congratulated by some persons. Oh, yes. Let's and now, go back now to the program. And I'll call on the awardee to present his acceptance speech. Thank you. The visitor, His Excellency President Mohamed Buhari GCFR. President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency Abubakar Sonny Bello, the Executive Governor of Niger State, Your Excellency, the former Head of State, General Abusalami Abubakar GCFR, Your Excellency, former Head of State, General Ibrahim Babangida, who I know will have liked to be here but is watching from home. Our royal father, the Sultan of Sokoto, Saud Abubakar. His Royal Highness, the Etsunupe, Alaji Yahaya Abubakar. And in fact, the, I must say, he's also the Chancellor of the University of Ife, where I got my degree from. Great Ife, sir. <laughs> His Royal Highness, the Emir of Mina. Let me give a special recognition to Her Excellency, the former First Lady, Lady Justice Mrs. Abubakar, the former Chief Judge of Niger State. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, Israel Ines Adetonyibo Adelusi, the Odundu II, the Deji, and Paramount Ruler of Akure Kingdom. Mr. Vice Chancellor, Professor Abdullahi Bala, Mr. Registrar of the University Council, members of the University Council and Senate, Mr. Pro Chancellor, Professor Olu Obafemi. Let me at this point say to the Vice Chancellor, Professor Abdullahi Bala, you are an impressive and exceptional Vice Chancellor. I am very proud of you. And I wish I had the powers conferred on me today by the university for all of what you've done in four years. I would have conferred on you the honorary degree of excellence as vice chancellor. <laughs> the faculty members, management and staff of the university, the great students of the Federal University of Technology, MENA, the graduating class of 2022, all royal fathers and emirs that are here present, 
members of the National Assembly and members of the State Executive Council, parents and families and friends, my darling, beautiful and radiant wife, Grace. You see, my success in life is due to the grace of God, but I also have a good grace at home. I wouldn't be who I am today without her. My dear friends who accompany me here today, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I wish to sincerely thank the University Council, the Senate and the Vice Chancellor, and the students of this great university, the Federal University of Technology, MENA, for awarding me an honorary doctorate, Doctor of Technology, DTEC Honorary Causa today. What an incredible honor from this great university located in the great city of MENA. MENA is a town that produces great and eminent leaders. MENA has produced two presidents and heads of state of Nigeria. General Ibrahim Babangida, GCFR, General Abdusalami Abubakar, GCFR. I congratulate today my fellow awardees on their honorary doctorate degrees, His Excellency General Abdusalami Abubakar, as well as Alaji Abdul Samad Rabiu and Malam Meli Kolo Kiari. Congratulations. It's a great privilege for me to share this stage with you today. I am especially grateful to you, Your Excellency, General Abdusalami Abubakar, who took me under his wings and lobbied extremely hard for me when I was seeking election as President of the African Development Bank in 2015. He spoke to the then President-elect, Mohamed Buhari, who in turn provided me with great support. He also reached out to His Excellency President Goodluck Jonathan and then the former Vice President Atiku Abubakar to rally support behind me. Your Excellency, you have been such a great part of my success. I wish to use this time to acknowledge that publicly and to thank you most sincerely. Your Excellency, I'm most grateful, sir. I wish to also express my deepest gratitude to His Excellency President Mohamed Bukhari for his tremendous and tenacious support leading up to my successful re-election for second time as President of the African Development Bank with 100% of the votes of all 54 African countries and 100% of all the votes of the 27 non-African countries, the first in the history of the bank since its establishment in 1964. But today it's not about me. Today it's about those that I'm looking at. I see before me the new success stories of Nigeria, the graduating class of 2022. You may wave your hand so I can see you. Congratulations. Today is your day. You will be the next success stories of Nigeria. Congratulations. As graduating students of the Federal University of Technology, MENA, you are standing on the brink of opportunities. You have been prepared for success by a world-class university focused on technology. Technology drives the world. I know the power of technology. As Minister of Agriculture, I turn to the power of technology, mobile phones, to provide 15 million farmers with access to improved seeds and fertilizers and to end corruption in the sector. It was revolutionary, the first not only in Africa but actually was the first in the world. It helped to produce in Nigeria a record additional 21 million metric tons of food. It boosted food security and expanded wealth for farmers. Rural wealth expanded from the northeast across the north central to the northwest from the southwest, southeast, and to the south-south of the country. It brought accountability and transparency in the use of public funds. It changed the lives of farmers, including Hajia Ladi Balade, a female farmer in Zamfara's Bakalori Irrigators Project, who was growing just two hectares of rice. I went to our farm 
with the technology support she received on our mobile phones, Haji Aladi Baladi boosted our production, went to Mecca, and supported 23 orphans. My wife, Grace, is here today. Even she will call Haji Aladi Balade the minister's second wife. <laughs> today, Nigeria's fintech entrepreneurs are using technology to deliver digital payment systems with three of Nigeria's fintech, Intersuite, PayPal, and Flutterwave, reaching $1 billion mark. Fintechs in Africa raised $1.4 billion in 2020, and in 2021, they raised a whopping $5 billion. Technology, tech, now allows e-health delivery services. At the touch of the button, doctors, pharmacists, and technicians, all connected, deliver real-time medical care. Tech now allows for enhanced security systems, from military reconnaissance, intelligence, to satellite imagery, and remote sensing to track effects of climate change. Artificial intelligence powers systems now power driverless tractors and harvesters for farmers. Drones now deliver blood for transfusion in remote locations, saving time and lives. Cognitive robots now power industrial manufacturing. Your Excellencies and their colleagues and friends, in the very near future, Due to machine learning and artificial intelligence, your colleagues in the office or in the industry will not just be Musa, Emeka, Yechunde, or Ada, but they will be called Yekini Jones or Bobo the Robots. They will even wear caps and head ties. Through facial recognition, Yekini the Robot and Bobo the Robot will greet you every morning saying hello Musa, Emeka, Yetude, and Ada, and you will say hello Yakini, hello Bobo, let's roll. <laughs> Welcome to the world of information, process at the speed of light. Welcome to the power of big data analytics that will transform learning in schools, enhance decision making in academia, research, in the public and private sector, banking, and in every sphere of life. Welcome to the power of technology for public transparency and for holding governments accountable. The African Development Bank is preparing the youth of Africa to lead in this new digital economy. We have just provided $170 million to Nigeria to help drive what's called the iDice initiative that will help to expand the digital industry and grow jobs in creative industries. As the class of 2022, you will help shape the tech future of Nigeria. So be leaders. You have been shaped right here in MENA for export to other parts of Nigeria, Africa, and to the world. Build a new Nigeria, a smart Nigeria, a dynamic Nigeria, a globally competitive Nigeria. It is in your hands. Now go and make it happen. I wish you God's success and God's richest blessing. Congratulations and thank you again.